Okay. Let me go to an inn. Because usually after a mystical spring scene, you can um watch a Medea scene from the inn. I'm gonna go to Alexandria because I have to be there anyway. Also, we might do more of the monster arena, but I kind of need better monsters. I feel like if I wanna... According to my guide, you could recruit Mori at this point. So if you were to do all the monster arena, we can recruit him. Which honestly, I'm gonna be real. I kind of want to recruit him if I could. But I think I'm gonna need better monsters. I'm gonna need to find some really strong monsters to clear the S rank. Welcome to Dreamland, Sleepyhead. I'm so grateful for these chances to talk to you. And I'm so happy Jessica's back with us. Yeah, me too. Even if Father and I are still cursed. Yo, I love how Medea is like. Like, it's kind of like a love triangle between you, Medea, and Jessica in this game. But I love how Medea is totally, like, okay with Jessica. Like, she's not jealous or anything. Sometimes I wonder if we'll have to spend the rest of our lives like this. I'm sorry. It's just that I get so sad every time I think of Trodane covered in thorns. You know what's strange, though? That you weren't affected by the curse. But I shouldn't be surprised. I always knew there was something special about you. Don't forget to take me to the spring every now and then. I miss talking to you. Same for Jessica, though. Jessica and Medea are very... They are not very... They don't get jealous of the other, which is really nice. That's what I like in... That's what I like in, um... Waifus and all that. When it comes to best girls, that's what I like. Alright, so now I think we go to Rosalinda. Who's Jessica's mom, and then we can get the Alistair armor. Oh, and then Farbury has a new scene. Which details backstory for Domagus, which I think is worth it, personally. I'm gonna do that as well. Hi. Jessica. When did you get back? Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be awkward. The way that Jessica just said have a nice life to her mom. Just now. But I've got to leave again straight away. I still haven't dealt with the person responsible for Alistair's death. I'm sorry. No. That's alright. You do what you have to do. Just make sure you come back when it's all taken care of. I have something I should like to give to you. Please, come this way. This is... Yo, that armor looks sick. This is Alistair's. This was my son Alistair's armor. I want you to have it. I'm sure it will be of use to you on your travels. I mean, I'm sure it will, but is that really okay? For me to take Jessica's brother's armor? He wouldn't have wanted it to sit here gathering dust. He would have wanted it to be used. In that case, I guess I accept. Mom. It's what he would have wanted, Jessica. Thank you. Yes. New armor. If this armor is like really strong, then I don't gotta worry about anything else. Yo, does this change my costume? That'd be really sick if it did. Imagine if this changed my appearance. Hold up. Whoa, that is a lot of defense. It does not change my armor, which is a little um it does not change my outfit, which is unfortunate. Whatever. If I remember right, from what I from what I read in the ending guide, I think that's what you have to do to get Jessica's ending. You have to get this armor, which I assumed was at the end of the game, but I assumed wrong, I guess. All right, head back to Farbury. Oh, it's staying the inn in Alexandria for another scene. My bad. Or was that after the mythical um hot spring? I don't remember.
additional story scene. But is that for Medea? Is that the one I just activated? Like, I don't know if it's telling me Alexandria because I'm already in Alexandria. And there's a Medea scene, which I already saw. Or is it because there is a new scene between Jessica and the hero? I do not know. We'll find out, though. Oh, yeah, I guess that answers my question. Is this all new? There's no way this could be in the PS2 version. I feel like it's not. Because in the PS2 version, you can't marry Jessica. Maybe you could still get Alistair's armor? Oh, hi. When I ran away from home, I thought that if I could only stop Dormagus, I'd at least have avenged Alistair's death. But it turns out Dormagus was just a puppet. Rapthorn is the real villain. You know, I can't help wondering what chance people like us stand against an enemy like that. It seems so hopeless. Ugh, listen to me. I sound like such a wimp. Not at all. I don't know what's got into me lately. I'm normally the one giving everyone else encouragement, right? Do you really think so? <laughs> You're always so kind. I try. Alright then. We've got an early start tomorrow. We should probably get some sleep. Oh, that was such that was a good scene. It would have been even better if we got more if it lasted a little longer and we got more Jessica and the hero heartfelt talk, but that was pretty good for what it was. Alright, I think that's it. So we're done in Alexandria. We did all the Medea scenes, the Medea conversations. So now we are going to go to Farbury, which was the very first town. The very first town we've been to in the game. And um we're gonna I think we meet with Kadarasha, which is the fortune teller. And we can get some backstory on Dolmagus. Which, even though Dolmagus is defeated, it's still nice to know where he came from. And why, how he got possessed by Raptorn. I think that's what we're going to find out. And after this, we'll get to like Monster Arena. We'll do the thing in Baccarat. Because Baccarat has a uh, side quest we can do with the Golding Mansion or something like that. We'll do that after this. We might be we might do side quests a lot longer than I intended to, but that's fine. I'm totally fine with making this stream like mostly side quests, because I feel like we've been doing lots of main story. There haven't really been too many side quests in the game that I've cared about. your chores and have you finished clearing up outside? Oh, um, no, not yet. Well, 
Don't just stand there. Get on with it. Sorry, Master. Hmm. There's still something missing, but what? I'm so close now. So very close. myself. Uh, such piffling parlor tricks can even be called magic. So getting a backstory on Domagus is really nice. We'll find out probably why he got how he got possessed by Raptorn. Uh, how am I ever going to master real spells? when my every waking minute is taken up with mind-numbing chores. Hmm? What's this about? A legendary scepter sealed away in Castle Tredane? That's it. That's the answer. If I only had that scepter, I could wield any magic I wanted. Dolmagus! What are you doing? Uh, uh, Master, I um, uh... I have warned you about reading my grimoires without prior permission, have I not? They are not for your eyes. You still have to grasp even the most basic principles of magic use. <coughs> and yet you cannot even follow that one simple rule. Bar, I'd be better off with a dog as an apprentice. At least it would obey me. Where are you going? Dulmagus, come back here! to entertain you, Your Majesty. I have prepared some uh, uh, tricks for your amusement. Very good. Most ba, 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 ba. Yes, most impressive indeed. You will stay here at the castle tonight. I insist as a reward for that remarkable show. <laughs> you are too kind, Your Majesty. There I am, watching him plot something. That's got to hurt.
Is that you, Dulmagus? Where have you been all this time? Anyway, I owe you an apology. I should not have spoken to you the way I did. Your failings as an apprentice are mine as a master. But enough about that. I have great news. After years of experimentation and research, my elixir is all but complete. When you drink it, it will awaken the latent magical potential that lies within you, Dulmagus. And with a little hard work, you would at last be able to weave the potent enchantments you have always dreamt of. Oh, whoops. Where did you get that scepter? Oh no, you haven't. Such a pity. Such a pity. Is that, are those like the only words you know? Just asking. Because I feel like Domegas has said those words lots of times. So, now we know how it happened. What a terrible end for poor Rylos. Had I only known what a fiend that jester was, I would never have let him cross the threshold. Cool, blimey! But Rylus was a careless master, I must say. One must be in touch with one's servant's needs and moods. It's little wonder he met such a sticky end. <laughs> <clears throat> There is nothing more to see in my crystal ball today. Go! When next you come, the great Kaldarasha will tell for you another fortune, though maybe not for free. If anyone is watching this, is my is the game like low or is it loud enough? Because I feel like if I put it a little louder, it might be too loud. I just want to know if the volume attack is fine. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Because getting- working with this audio bouncing is very tricky. Let me go back to the monster arena and see if we can get some more, uh, ranks down. I kind of want to see what the highest rank I can get finished is before getting a new team completely. We'll see what happens. <laughs> 